today I'm going to be telling you about my experience at the Lush summer skin event that took place in Portsmouth last night. As you can see I've got a big bag full of goodies to show you. Excuse my voice going there and you can hear a whirring in the background, it's the fan. I'm really hot. <laughs> Um, so I'll start off by telling you a bit about what happened and then I'll go into the products that I received. So when I arrived, um, there were about maybe 10 other people there I think and then the staff and I was talking to one of the members of staff, she's really really lovely, I can't remember her name but if you go into the Portsmouth shop she's got bright green hair and she's got piercings and tattoos, she's a really lovely girl. She started off by doing an arm massage. Um, she started off by using rub 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 all over my arm um, which is like a sort of a scrubby body lotion she then used rose argan body conditioner to soften my arm then washed that all off and put on I think it was sympathy for skin body moisturizer which smelled amazing and then she put the lush um, obviously lush because that's where I was vanilla puff um, like talcum powder over the top and the, oh, the combination just felt amazing um, and then she did a arm oh, massage with one of their massage bars and I can't quite remember the name of it I've got the Lush Times here I'll just see if I can find it it smelled amazing it was one of the ones that I haven't used before I heard it was called Wiki Magic Muscles it's this one just here and it's supposed to be good for aching muscles and it's got, I think it's got cinnamon in it, yeah cinnamon, cinnamon leaf oil and oh it smelled amazing, my arm felt so like soothed afterwards but also moisturised. Um, and then we were just talking about some of the other products in the shop, she showed me the shampoo bars um, and some of the um, liquid shampoos as well. And then I went out into their back room. Um, which is massive actually, they should definitely have a Lush spa there, that would be amazing um, to do a DIY foot treatment and it was amazing um, you got to try out all their foot products, they've got four foot products in total I'll just um, show you them this is them there and I got to try them all out, so I started off with the stepping stone Dead Skin's Arch Nemesis, it's like a pumice and you rub that all over your feet to get rid of any of the dead skin cells and then you can like drop a bit in the water as well and it kind of fizzes away and it's nice and cooling and relaxing on your feet and then I used this which is the Volcano Foot Mask um, it's got pumice in it, deep cleansing clay and en en enzymic, enzymic fruits um, to eat away any other dead skin cells and you leave that on for a minute and they actually recommend you wrap your foot in cling film as it helps the product work a bit more I think um, and then I took that off and when I was washing that off like the pumice helps to oh, sorry that's my other half um, hold on a minute sorry about that it helps the pumice helps to scrub away more at the dead skin cells on your feet and then I use the fair trade foot lotion oh, which smells amazing it's so pepperminty and fresh and then last but not least you add the tea, tea for toes on the top um, which is like it says it's a powerful deodorizing foot powder with natural antimicrobial ingredients for healthy feet so it just helps your feet stay nice and fresh and in the summer especially when you are usually wearing shoes without socks on and things like that so that was really nice and then I got the chance to make um, the What's it called? The Catastrophe Cosmetic Fresh Face Mask. So they went through all of the ingredients with us and showed them in them sort of all individually. And then um, we got a chance to make it, so they mixed it all up in a bowl, got to pop all the fresh blueberries in it, and that was really fun. And then I went back out into the shop and I got another arm uh, massage with it's called something cauldron. It's usually one that you like hang in the bath in the muslin net but they actually took it out and they just sort of rubbed it all over your arm and that was really nice um, and then I purchased some products so now I'll um, get into the stuff I purchased and then we did get some samples as well so I'll just dive right in so the first product I've got here is the Sympathy for Skin which is the moisturiser she used on me and this one's got bananas and vanilla in and it just smells so good 
the banana really comes through in it. It's not overpowering though, like if you don't like the smell of banana, I still think you should give this a go because it's a really nice product. So I've got two little pots of that. And then the next is African Paradise Body Conditioner, which is the same as the Rose Argan one I mentioned earlier, the one that you, you sort of rub it on your skin while you're in the shower while you're still wet and then you wash it off and it just leaves your skin super moisturised so if you can't be bothered to put moisturiser on afterwards or if you're in a hurry you can do this or if you're super lazy like me but it's just sort of a uh, whitey sort of coloured liquid it's quite thick and it's, it's one of their new scents and it just oh, it smells amazing it's kind of spicy and but also I guess it's quite fresh at the same time, it's like good for in the summer, it's not like a spicy winter scent, it's just kind of a spicy smell, so that's lovely. And then Dream Cream Hand and Body Cream, which I've used before, I've used a whole tub of this before and I really like it. Can't quite work out the smell of this one. I'm rubbish at describing scents, but this is more of a yellowy coloured body butter. So it's sort of, it's quite a light texture, I mean it rubs in really easily, um, so it's not a butter, it's kind of a, I suppose it's a lotion more of a butter, but that's really nice. I've used a whole pot of before as I said. Um, next one, this is one of the ones that she showed me, it's called Rub Rub Rub, it's um, the shower gel with exfoliant in it, so as you can see, it's all blue and it's got little like scrubby bits in it to get rid of all the dead skin cells in it. It's kind of minty, fresh smelling. Really lovely. Really enjoyed using that and I've got a couple of samples of that. So I'll definitely be using that in the shower tonight. The next product I've got here is Dark Angels, which is one of their face cleansers. And I've got to be careful with this because it's black. I have a cream carpet so I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a charcoal coloured it's sort of powdery but it sort of sticks together at the same time and you just mix this with water rub it all over your face and it's really scrubby and this one's really supposed to be good for oily skin and um, which is why she gave me a sample of it and I used it last night and my skin was super soft afterwards even though I've got kind of a spot going on in this area um, this one's really good I really liked it The next product I've got is the new Deep Love Shaving Cream, which I believe has strawberries in it. And it's bright pink. Oh, it looks amazing. It kind of it reminds me of Angel Delight. I don't know. Anyone else thinks it looks like Angel Delight? It smells lovely, and I'm looking forward to using this because I usually use like the normal bog standard, like Gillette foamy um, shaving cream. So I'm looking forward to trying something a bit different. And hopefully that whole pot will last me a couple of times. Um, and then, oh, the next product I've just thrown on the floor, but I've got another one here. It's the Rose Argan Body Conditioner that I was speaking about, which is the same as African Paradise. But this one smells like roses, and oh, it's amazing. It's quite a strong floral rose scent, so if you don't like that, then I'd probably give this one a miss. But I love it. I've never used to like rose scents, but I'm kind of... That and coconut now I'm obsessed with, and vanilla. Um, but as you can see, it's just another thick sort of cream that you put on in the shower and then wash off and you're good to go. Oh, it's exploding everywhere, so put that one on the side. And then the next sample I have here is one of their shampoos. I've never tried one before. I think I have... I have one juicy, something juicy, one of their shampoos I think, I've got a little mini one that I haven't tried yet, but this is Rehab, and the girl in the shop was saying this is really good for getting rid of the skin, dead scent skin cells on your head if you're, you suffer from a dry itchy scalp or anything, but then it's also got pro um, not products, ingredients in it to help um, sort of moisturise the scalp and the hair as well, so it's really minty smelling and fresh for summer which is really good, so I'm looking forward to to giving that one a go. And then the next product 
that I was given as one of their new products. It's one of their ones for summer. It's the Sunblock Solid Sunscreen Wash. Now this is kind of a different concept for a sunscreen. This is the Fact 30. And what you do is you, sort of when you've washed in the shower, you then take the bar, wet it, and then you just rub it all over your body and you wear that the sun's going to be getting to. And then wash it off and then you're good to go. That's your SPF done. Um, you obviously will need to top up later in the day so you don't get burnt but if you're only going out for a couple of hours I think this is a really great idea and I tend to just go out without putting sun cream on which is really silly because I'm naturally fair and I burn really easily so I'm definitely excited to give this a try and I think my other half, um, Carl, I think he'll benefit from this as well as he doesn't like putting sun cream on. Um, so I think that's it and I can come on to products that I purchased at the end of the evening. So the first one is one of their solid shampoo bars. Now I've never tried these before but I've been really interested in trying them because this has 80 washes in it. That's amazing. I mean a whole bottle of shampoo would never do me 80 washes because I shampoo my hair twice every time. Um, but this is supposed to be the solid equivalent of their, shampoo, their big shampoo. Um, I don't know if you've seen that one before but it's got loads of salt in it and sort of seaweed and it's really good for volumising your hair and just sort of that beachy flyaway kind of texture so I was, can't wait to give this a go um, it smells I think it pretty much smells the same as Big it does remind me of like holidays being by the beach it's such a lovely smell and then I also bought the tin to keep it in so it doesn't all foam up in the shower and I think this will be great for holiday because then I can just put that in my suitcase and that's loads of shampoo I don't have to worry about taking a big bottle or anything um, and I think it would be good um, for if you're just taking hand luggage and because this won't count in your um, 100 ml only allowed you wouldn't have to put it in a clear what's it, clear bag <laughs> so I'm looking forward to trying that one And then the next product I purchased was Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. And I've been looking for a cuticle oil or something recently because I really like painting my nails, but I, my cuticles always look a mess, especially around my thumbs. I get all those, you know, bits of skin and stuff. So I've seen some good reviews on this, and I've also seen some reviews where people didn't like it. But I tried it last night and this morning, and my cuticles always already look better. I'm amazed. I love it. It's like a bright yellow. Um, really really thick sort of balm and you need the tiniest amount of oh, about that much would probably do one hand I think so you don't need very much at all so this tub is gonna last me forever and it I like the way Lush put the dates on them um, this one I've got till August next year to use it by and it was made by Nikki I love always seeing who who makes the products um, so this is gonna last me ages so I'll probably do a full review on that once I've given it a proper test. The next product that I purchased um, is the vanilla puff dusting powder so that's one of the ones that she tried on me and this oh this stuff smells so good I'll just have to be careful the fan doesn't blow it everywhere but you just it's like normal talcum powder you just dust a bit out onto your arm if you can see that and then you just rub it in and I think this would be good for when I've just had a shower and I kind of want to get my clothes on quickly and run out the door as opposed to waiting for moisturiser to dry and all that kind of stuff because putting jeans and leggings on when you're still a bit damp isn't good. But it smells amazing as well. Vanilla is one of my favourite scents as I said. And I think this little tub will probably last me a good while. It's a 50 gram tub. So definitely looking forward to using that some more. And then the last thing I purchased was one of their little charity pots and a hundred is a pound for this little pot good to keep in your handbag and the whole pound um, minus VAT goes to good causes so you know if you're at the till just pick one of these up it's only a pound and you're doing a bit for charity or doing a little bit for charity anyway and this is just another hand and body cream so I'm going to stick this in my purse I think um, just in case I need put any moisturiser on on the go and then I'll just show you the face mask that we made I was so excited about this it's such a massive tub as well this is Catastrophe Cosmetic which has got fresh really bruise in and it's supposed to be good for sensitive skin so you can use this three to four times a week 
and it's good for like three to four weeks because it's fresh you have to keep it in the fridge um, and they recommend you use it in three to four weeks time and usually the um, face mask can only come in a little pot like this this is the cuticle butter but this is the size of the pot so I've got to try and uh, get some of my friends around I think to use this up with me but I'll just show you it it's amazing looking you can see sort of there at the top there's a fresh blueberry and it just oh got on my chin it just smells amazing so I'm really looking forward to giving that a go as I haven't tried that one before I've only tried cupcake and braise and honey but I'm looking forward to giving that a go so that's everything that I got from the Lush event um, right at the very end I met four really lovely bloggers um, who've been dip sort of blogging for various amount of times and they're actually local to my area so it was really nice to meet them and it's kind of given me the sort of kick up the bum that I needed to get started with doing the YouTubing so I will link their blogs below if you want to check them out and I think one of the girls also has a YouTube channel so I'll link, link that below as well she does lots of fashion-y kind of videos and DIY and DIY fashion videos so I'll link that below for you um, anyway so that's the end of my first video um, if you enjoyed this and if you want to see more um, please subscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate it um, I'm hoping to do about one video a week in the beginning I think because um, I work as well and I'm also at uni so I'm kind of fitting this in around that but hopefully more than one video in the week in the future um, so yeah anyway I'll see you all in my next video bye